the, the, the people are, are asking us in the, the comments, they're like, who are these people voting for this woman? I'm like, you guys, we said this a um, video, like, a dozen videos ago. <laughs> people will still vote for her. I know she's starting to lose the Hispanic vote, the Hispanic yeah. vote. I mean, can you believe that? She's starting to lose the Hispanic vote. Black men have walked away from her. Men in general don't mm -hmm. want to vote for her. Yep. You know, you know what I mean? All she, again, all she has is this, you know, um, high educated mm -hmm. girl boss, I want an abortion mm -hmm. sort of voter. Yeah. Not, not anybody that, you know, very low informational, very ego driven, um, you know, women. And she you got, know, <laughs> and, to, and to top her week last week, she got no help from Barack Obama who messed, right. her, who messed her all the way up. And then even like on TYT, Anna Karsperian mm -hmm. and Jank mm -hmm. actually talked about her and how she's, you know, you know, trying to do a flex on the fact that she's got Liz Cheney and Dick mm -hmm. Cheney's, you know, endorsement and all these like neocons that are endorsing her. And mm -hmm. then she can have Bernie Sanders and then she can have these yeah. people and she can have these people. And it's like a flex. And even Jank and them were like, the only way that Trump's not going to win is if he just doesn't, if he just doesn't run anymore. Right. Our only hope is that Trump uh, just gives up like and I don't mean like literally of course he's not going to do that but he's kind of de facto doing it where he just melts right and he just is so unelectable that that she wins because this is hopeless he said because what is this and then Anna Karsperian who's announced that she's left the left yeah um, is like why are we even basically voting yeah. for yeah. even if let's say best case scenario for Kamala Harris Cozying up with neocons like Dick Cheney works out for her and gets her across the finish line. I need Democratic voters to please just explain to me why is it that you guys really want the Democrat to win? If the Democrat is willing to open her administration up to neocons who do not possess the same values as us. Why are we Why doing this? That? Because this is not what I want to vote for. Right. I don't want to vote for someone who's who's got who who wants to work with Dick Cheney. People on the left. Yeah, I mean, well, people on the left that are that are informed. Right. Because there are some that just have different ideas about what they want for mm -hmm. socialism, communism, but socialism specifically. You know, they they like TYT understands policy. They just have a different take on policy than what I would like. Right. Right. I don't agree with at all with the left policy, but they are informed voters. And so I kind of understand what they're saying is like, we're not supposed to be this gung ho about Republicans, right? I thought right. we were, I thought we were on the left. So why are we so, you know, like, and you know, you can say a lot sense. about the fact that we have Bobby Kennedy and Tulsi Gabbard, but the truth is, I think Trump's getting more out of having them voting and stomping for him than she's getting out of Dick Cheney and Liz Cheney stomping for her. And the reason, you though, know, the reason for that, though, is because RFK Jr., he comes from a very famous dynasty of a family family and you know um, a political family that is well respected and Tulsi Gabbard is a true patriot and a soldier fights if someone's gonna come over to the right that's from the left it, it, and because the right is very big on patriotism so you know they would have to be a RFK or a Tulsi Gabbard but to see the you know, Liz Cheney and all them these are like War mongers, but also Liz you know? Cheney and like a Dick Cheney, they don't have a fan base. They don't have a yeah. following base. Right. I mean, Bobby Kennedy and Tulsi Gabbard do. Yeah. You know what I mean? They have YouTube channels. Mm -hmm. They have, people are watching them. They're on Joe Rogan. No one's following Dick Cheney. Who the hell's following that? So to flex and say like, oh, we got yeah. them. You know, I mean, no one's following them. You got no voters out of that. Right. You will get though people from the left who cared about, um, you know, uh, climate changes as R RFK, uh, you know, um, RFK does, or someone like, yeah. uh, you know, like um, Tulsi Gabbard who's been in the military and doesn't want to see war anymore. Both yeah. of them don't want to see. Anymore, anymore. Trump doesn't. Essentially, why they decided to go with Trump because he he didn't start any new wars yeah. when he was in office, and he's trying to end the ones mm -hmm. that they've started. At the least, she's a socialist. Yeah, I know she's a Marxist. Worst, she's Marxist? a Marxist. Her father, yeah, her he father. teaches Marxism. But the, he's a but radical. He's a, yeah, I mean, she said she's a radical. She, but she, her policies mm -hmm. are radical. Yeah, but if she would have heard what she said five years ago, even three years ago. 
the things that she would, even with the transgender, trying yeah. to get transgender um, people reassignment surgery for, <laughs> you know, people who are not legal and people who are in prison. Are you crazy and get taxpayers paying for that? <laughs> like, that's a radical thing. Defund the police. This was her. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And well, now she she's had, a gun-toting mm -hmm. patriot. When she had her Fox, <laughs> when, the, when she had the Fox News interview and he asked her about that, the, um, will she still be mm -hmm. on board with the gender reassignment surgery? Because, you know, Trump put the ad out. Many of them add noise, but a few of them seem to break through. This particular one from the Trump campaign has gotten a lot of attention. Kamala supports taxpayer-funded sex changes for prisoners. Surgery. Um, for prisoners. For prisoners. Every transgender inmate in the prison system would have access. So... Are you still in support of using taxpayer dollars to help prison inmates or detained illegal aliens to transition to another gender? I will follow the law. And it's a law that Donald Trump actually followed. She, she says, does, like, I will follow things. the law. That is bizarre. That is the most bizarre yeah. answer. I will follow the law. He's asking you your opinion. You are yeah. going to be running the free world. Yeah. He's asking you, are you is, that, is your stance on that? Yeah. And she just kept saying, Tim and I are going to follow the law. Well, you have a say in the laws. Then she says, you know, and a law that, she says a law that Trump, that Trump fought too, by the way. So she says, I'm like, no, no, we're talking about, we're not talking about what Trump fought. We're talking about who spearheaded it, yeah. the, who, who's supporting that law. Trump does not support that law. He doesn't support any of that. But you do. So that's not the question. The question is about, oh, Trump is a no, he's not supporting that. It's there because of, you know, these policies, these Biden Harris policies. Well, she did a 25 minute interview with Brett Baer and then she didn't answer any questions yes, for that. She named Donald Trump's name 37 yeah, times. Right. That was a horrific. She didn't give any answers. Mm -hmm. I don't understand how anyone can vote for someone like this. And then she got all, guys, then she was unhinged. That he has talked about turning the American military on the American people. He has talked about going after people who are engaged in peaceful protest. He has talked about locking people up because they disagree with him. This is a democracy. And in, in a democracy, the president of the United States, in the United States of America, should be willing to be able to handle criticism without saying he'd lock people up for doing it. And this is what is at stake, which is why you have someone like the former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff saying what Mark Milley has said about Donald Trump being a threat to the United States of America. You guys she started that? yelling at him and it's just like, girl, <laughs> she, calm down. She got really, really mad at the end and started calling him a threat to democracy again and going nuts. And they spend it yeah. on like CNN, like she was taking control. So now no, at the end of all her rallies, or yeah, the she screams and yells really, United States of America. <laughs> and it's just like, <laughs> you are just the most fakest right. person. Mm -hmm. Like there is nothing genuine about you. You're a complete empty vessel. She just she hasn't she has no skills when it comes nothing. to these interviews. Things. These interviews, these rallies are also scripted. And some people ask are are asking us in the the comments. They're like, who is really, you know, who will really vote for this woman? Who are these people voting for this woman? I'm like, you guys, we said this a um, video like a dozen videos ago. <laughs> people will still vote for her. Yeah. These girl, there are people yeah, these girl bosses that want abortions and yeah. stuff. Those are who who votes for her. People will still vote for her. There are <laughs> people right now who early voted for her. I mean, she's lost the male vote. So the only thing is a college-educated yeah. girl boss women yeah. that want abortions. That's it. That's who votes for her. That's and gay it. people. Yeah. And Hollywood. That's it. She's and, completely losing. And the most important, uninformed yeah. voters. <laughs> the ones who are uninformed are definitely going to vote for her because they just, she's a woman. Just like this empty the person woman, just the sitting there black. lying yeah. over and over again, not answering questions. And then when she answers anything, yeah. she just tells a complete lie. And then you can literally fact check her in five seconds with her <laughs> in her own word. That's what I thought. The Fox News was, I thought Brett Baird did such a good job only because he played videos of her saying things yeah. to her. Right. It's interesting you said turn the page, Madam Vice President. You were asked on two different shows last week what, if anything, you would do differently than President Biden. Here's yeah. what you said. Would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind in terms of, and I've been a part of, of, of most of the decisions that have had 
impact? Under a Harris administration, what would the major changes be and what would stay the same? Sure. Well, I mean, I'm obviously not Joe Biden. Um, I know. And so yes. that would be one change yes. in terms of. Yes. But also, it, I think it's important to say with, you know, 28 days to go, I'm not Donald Trump. So you're not Joe Biden, you're not Donald Trump, but but nothing comes to mind that you would do differently. Let me be very clear. My presidency will not be a continuation of Joe Biden's presidency. You know, like she's like, what can she say? She can't say that's a lie because she's sitting mm -hmm. there watching herself say it. Even you when, know, yeah. he did a good job of really, oh, he did, you he know, did a great job, really analyzing her and and asking a question because he knew that she was going to come and say mm -hmm. that stump speech over and over again. And she literally tried to do the stump speech the mm -hmm. entire yeah. the entire um, interview. She tried to do that. He would not let her do it. And she started to get frustrated and arrogant. Yeah. And the faces she was making was like, yeah, even when she talked about the border and she was like, yeah, she looked at him like, yeah, yeah, I did it. The questions. This is why she didn't want to go on Fox News in the first place. This is the exact reason why, because there's going to be like real tough questions. But, you know, you see Trump and Vance um, constantly going on. Actually, they've been on all of their liberal, mm -hmm. all the liberal things, you know, and they get a lot of crap most of the time, but they get through it. They don't lose their mind, lose their cool, you know, and she did on that. Yeah, and we all know why she went. She went because I tell them they must have some inside polling yeah, that shows bad. really bad because they yeah. asked her to be on Fox News yeah. twice. Yeah. And then they asked her if she wanted to do it to do a debate with Trump. Mm -hmm. And she said no she to know. all three. And then all of a sudden she now wants to do a Fox um, debate. Yeah. And she also wants to talk to, to Fox <laughs> people. And it's because the Crunch little, time, that yeah. little um, you know, media blitz that she went on it was worked. all fluff and everybody was saying that she's not tough and that's the last thing a feminist wants. Yeah. It's sound like she got softball yeah. questions because that makes you not look strong it makes it look like you don't know how to handle yourself in man's world yeah you know what i mean and so she decided to try to you know forget the howard stearns and the view she tried to go to the big dogs people who are really going to try to with 60 minutes they yeah. got her then she tried to go to the, the big dogs the people who, who she knows are going to you know press yeah. her and she couldn't handle it. She got mad. She got angry. She didn't answer any questions. She mentioned Donald Trump's mm -hmm. name 37 times. She didn't. Uh, she blamed everything. Everything that he said to her, mm -hmm. she blamed it all on Trump. I don't know how you do that. How do you blame someone who hasn't been there for almost four years? Yeah. <laughs> Brett, Brett Baer is like one of the last real journalists. So I knew that was going to be a tough one because even Trump said that Brett Baer is very tough. And he was tough. Trump said he was tough on me. Yeah. Um, and so I just thought, well, how is she going to get through Bet Brett Baer? Because he's like a traditional kind of journalist as we know them, you know, mm -hmm. as, as, as a yesteryear journalist, you know, the Walter Cronkite types, you know. And so not he's not like a Rachel Maddow. She's not a journalist. It, that was the kickoff to the bad week that she had. And she really had to to that interview was bad. She really had to fix that, and I, I think yeah. she just wants the. I don't know why she would want a debate by Fox. I don't either. But it's, I, I think. Well, but but I would say this: if she does want a debate where Fox are the Fox are the yeah, moderators, right. that means to me that she really has nothing to lose anymore. Yeah. She can go down sinking. She's gonna go down swinging. Like she, yeah. I, so that means those internal polls yeah. are bad. I know that she's. I know she's starting to lose the Hispanic vote. The Hispanic yeah. vote. I mean, can you believe that? She's starting to lose the Hispanic vote. Black men have walked away from her. Men in general don't mm -hmm. want to vote for her. Yep. You know, uh, women with common sense don't want to vote for her. her. You know what I mean? But all she again, all she has is this. You know, um, high educated mm -hmm. girl boss. I want an abortion. Mm -hmm. Sort of. Voter. Yeah. Not not anybody that you know, very low informational, very ego driven um, you know, women. And she got <laughs> and to, to top her week last week, she got no help from Barack Obama who messed right. her, who messed her all the way up. Like he He messed he himself just, up. Man, he messed himself up and he does he pushed black men so far away from that party, it's got even worse. Oh man. I mean it's a, it's a bad week. It's just a, another it's a bad, bad week for her. It means nothing no, they can do. Bad. And now they're making fun of Trump because he went to McDonald's. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just like this man, no matter what you guys do to this mm -hmm. man, it just makes him right better. Like, it's he broke the internet with that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And she's over here, like, as soon as the mm -hmm. hurricanes happen, she's over here trying to get money from millionaires. It's pretty pathetic. <laughs> and not going to the southern border. It's and pretty and pathetic. Then she hurried up and went to the southern border to look yeah. at the, the border. Right. To see, after all these years, 
She suddenly wants to go and talk to the border people. And now they don't, and even Brett Baer said, and they said they don't, and they didn't endorse you. Yeah. But you frequently re talk to the Border Patrol Union for support of that bipartisan bill, and they did. They supported it. But they also just endorsed Donald Trump and said, you've been, quote, a failure with border security. Why do you think they said that? I think they're frustrated, and I get it. They want support. They want support, and that's what that border security bill would have done. These guys down at the border, these men and women, they're working hard. They endorsed Trump. Why do you think they would have done that? And her only answer is because they want help. Yeah. It is just like, but why would they prefer you? Right. Why would they prefer him over you? Right. 79%, I mean, he went on. 79% of the world say we're not going in the, the country no. says we're going in the wrong direction. And she has nothing. It's, it's a really a remarkable, she's gotta be the worst candidate in American history. And it's only because she's more manufactured. Like she's, she's the most, I think traditional politicians are kind of manufactured in their own way, but she's, she's a special case, Kamala, because she's almost 100% manufactured. They, they just inserted her into this, it's a coup. Yeah. They just really insert her in here and they give her teleprompters, they prop her up like a doll and say this and say that, say it like this. You know, regurgitate your 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 uh, stump speech that you do at your rallies. Just do that same thing in an interview. She has horrible advisors. I have no who is advising this woman. Like, are they have something against her? Because I feel like they're just messing her up. And nobody cares about January sixth. No one cares. Oh god, nobody no cares, one cares about. about no one cares about January sixth. They can't. So all. they they have very few things left to go with right now. And January sixth is the one thing that they're trying to dredge up and and really the america has um you know spoken um majority of people do not care about january 6. and they're trying to say he's afraid of her because he won't do a debate i'm like why would he need to do a debate you wouldn't do a debate if you weren't losing right you know what i mean you There's there would no be need. no way she would go on fox news if she was in the yeah. lead she she he could he's much rather go out there on the campaign trail and talk to the people but you know, it, it, she's she just has these. It's she's horrible she's week, a horrible guys. at this, and we knew this though. Mm -hmm. We knew this when when she was when she was a, a vice president. When, you know, yeah. While she was um, trying to run for president, right? She couldn't get any votes. Tulsi right. Gabbard took her out with a one shot. Yeah, and she was done. She, she didn't get any delegates. She <laughs> it shouldn't be it shouldn't be allowed. And then she just gets yeah. inserted. It doesn't have to. It skips the whole primary. Mm -hmm. And she's, a, she's like a horrible candidate. Mm -hmm. a but even, even if they're going to do all that, still, you would think that they would have a better strategy for her. Yeah. They, they really hurt her. Advisors are horrible. I don't know who they are, but they should have been fired a long time ago because it just, you guys just don't want her to win. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, also, I think that she's just bad. I think with someone like Barack Obama, yeah. you can work with him. Yeah. Because he's charismatic. And, yeah. And, and, you know, he can go off even, her, even Bill Clinton. Yeah. I mean, they've got, no. they have George Bush. Yeah. Like they have something. Well, these people can go off script though. Right. This is the whole problem though. It's not, it's, it's because she can't go off script. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> awful. She's just right. an awful person. Yeah, like, but, you I, know, I don't understand anybody who would spend time standing in a line or early voting for that. That was a bad week though, you guys. But yeah, let us know what you guys think about all that. Um, it's a mess. She's a mess. And um, Trump 2024.